Bone 23 videos. The time has come. For 26 episodes, Aurelius prepared for his mission. For the next 26 episodes, he collected all the 26 Daedric artifacts in Skyrim. And now, for the great finale. He is on his way to hide them, where no one can get them where he can be the protector of them until the end of time, not feeling hunger, exhaustion or cold ever again. The Deadlands. Just like the Ebony Warrior, he will await challengers to face him. The only way to get to these artifacts is by defeating the mightiest warrior in Tamriel, Aurelius Quintus Corvus. Maximum magic resistance, maximum physical resistance, maximum damage with both magic and mace. Let's conquer the Oblivion Door and the Deadlands beyond. Here we go. Good. Okay. Red Scar Cavern. You don't have to wait for me, Torment. Go home. Perhaps magic is not ideal. Not bad guys, not bad. I have enough lockpicks now.
the chamber key. The Mythic Dawn Temple. I should fight this guy. Mages. Are really better to fight. Like this. And that was Bonos. Completed the cause. The Oblivion door is open. Yeah, we have to go through there. Defeat the Dremora Valkanas. You do not feel hunger, exhaustion or cold here. And that looks fantastic. And two. And three. The third one was here. Come on! Retrieve Torment! I cannot sit on this throne.
I defeated him before he was visible. Okay. And done. Retrieve Scorch. No, I will not return to Tamriel. I will stay right here. This is the end, guys. Give this to me and go home. Give this to me. And go home. I shall guard the artifacts for all time, right here. Bow of Shadows, Dawnbreaker, the Ebony Blade, Fork of Horripilation, Gold Brand, Mace of Molech Ball, Maroon's Razor, Nerf Shatter, the Sanguine Rose, Scorch. I can't drop this now. Shadow Rent. The Skull of Corruption, the Staff of Sheogoroth, the Sword of Jigalak, Umbra, Volendrung, Wabajack, the Ebony Mail, the Grey Cowl of Nocturnal, the Mask of Clavicus Vile, the Ring of Khajiit, the Ring of Namira, Savior's Hide, Spellbreaker. Bitter Cup, the Ogma Infinium, Azura Star, and that's it. This is everything. That's it, my dear friends. Thank you so much for watching the Imperial Oblivion Runner. It was an awesome character to be played and a great challenge to collect all these artifacts. I had so much fun. And for one time, I got to play a finished build for a long time. Aurelius was a true powerhouse. My special thanks go out to my patrons, This Fat Girl Runs and JB Lee. Thank you so much for your fantastic support. I also want to say thank you to the people whose comments inspired and motivated me to keep going. Wayne Cripp, Frankie Dart, Michelle, Khan114, Seth Rumsey, Vaz, Richard Deaton, Will Run For Fun, This Fat Girl Runs, Leon Carruthers, Valuan, Mist Valley Gaming, Naji aka Tracy, Meine Bosma, Jan Paul Gart, Brian Kurek, Skyrim Explorer, Icarus, Mist Valley Mods, Robert Bell, Zach, and Joey Lee. There are quite a lot of Skyrim content creators from YouTube in this list. My fellow friends, it is awesome that you are watching my small channel. For some strange reason, I feel like there might be more to Aurelius. I'm not sure yet. So, what's next? 
Next week, my new build will start. The pure North Bidenhander. This North will not be bound by rules like the Divine Crusader. She is an unbound North savage girl with a short temper and a great love for making things dead. This will be another insane challenge on legendary survival difficulty. And I can't wait to play her and see if I can actually survive this with no spells, no enchanting, no alchemy, no follower or fighting pet. She will get hurt a lot. It will probably be my last build for the pure races. Episodes will air Tuesday and Thursday and I hope you will all join in. Have a great time and take good care.